Right, so this fun device, you just take your apple and you press it down onto the spiky bits. And then you just start turning the lever and the knife will auto adjust and cut the peel away from the apple just like this. Or if you happen to have a round potato, it could do that too. Okay, so just keep turning and then you can take your apple that's been peeled off of it and now you can slice it up. But it would be too difficult to slice this with a knife. So I got this funny little device that you just press down and it separates the slices of apple from the core directly so you can just pluck them out just like this and there's no hassle. So I'm just gonna remove all these now. Now I happen to also know that they make one of these for melon. And I have that, so I'm gonna show you that next. Doesn't it work? Okay. Take two. this thing need? Nope, that didn't work. Oh God. This is not sharp enough. Maybe it just doesn't work on this kind of melon. Forget that. This is important consumer information. Sometimes gadgets just don't work. All right, so this is a great device. Just put it down on the table and turn the lever and it creates a suction onto the table that holds it in place. Then you place your apple into it sideways, just like this, and start turning the lever. And then as it gets close to the blade, the blade will move back and peel off only the skin and then at the same time, it will slice through the apple. As you can see, there's a little gap there on the apple, and when you go through it, it slices the entire apple. So go all the way through, and then you can just pull off the apple at the end, and you can just spread it out. It's cut, peeled and cut into a spiral. And you can do this with potatoes too. It's an awesome machine. All right, this is an awesome little device. It's great fun. You just take an egg, crack it open as you do, and then you take your suction cup and you press it in and get it close to the egg yolk and suck it up just like this. And it leaves behind the egg white. And then you depress it and the egg yolk falls out. Now you can also do this with many egg yolks, but it takes a little bit more skill. You just press it in and just capture all of them just like this. You just suck them up and leave the egg whites behind. And then, you can just depress it and pop them out just like this. Awesome. Okay, so you just take a non-stick pan with some butter, heat it up, and put your skull mold into it. And then you crack open some eggs and you wanna pop the yolk into the little eye socket. And the eye socket's designed so it has gaps on the bottom so the white flows underneath it, but keeps the egg yolk in place and it just covers all the other surface areas with the egg white. And then you just simply cook it like you would normally with your eggs. And it just keeps your eggs into this skull shape. The only thing you have to watch out for is bubbles that might pop up. You have to just pop them away like that with a knife. And then once it's fully cooked, then you just remove the mold just like this. And then you've got left over your egg shaped as a skull which I think is a very fun way to present your breakfast. I just place it onto a plate and I like to add some bacon in the shape of cross and bones so you have egg skull with cross and bones. Awesome. All right, now this is a crazy device. You just put it into the socket and you close it shut and then you hold onto the handles and spin it round and then pull and release, pull and release continuously. And what happens is the core will spin at a tremendous speed. And inside the egg yolk is combining with the egg white and it's becoming scrambled. All right, so once you've spun it a couple times, 
you just release it and then you just pull it out. Oh, I thought the egg was going to be on this side. All right, and now you can just crack it open and you have scrambled eggs inside the yolk. Look at that. Insane. But wait, that's not what it's supposed to be useful. You spin it and then you place it inside some boiling water and you boil it until it's hard boiled and then you deshell it just like this. And I must warn you, it's really, really difficult to deshell this egg. I don't know why, but when you scramble the egg inside the shell, it, the shell does not want to come off. Okay, so now you've deshelled it, just pull the shells away and then you can cut it open and it's a pale yellow all the way through. There is no yolk, it's scrambled eggs inside the shell. How mad is that? Okay, so there we go. And that's the six tricks. Now, please subscribe to my channel to check out more of my videos. Thank you for watching.